For weeks, New Jersey Health Commissioner Judith Chris Kelly has been telling us that as we get into the fall season, COVID-19 numbers in the Garden State would start to rise. And they have. Since last Thursday, the state has registered 9,524 new cases. That's an average of 2,300 new cases a day. These numbers are not only concerning, but the reason why Governor Phil Murphy made this announcement on Monday. Effective this Thursday, November 12th, all restaurants, bars, clubs, and lounges that serve food and drink must close their indoor, indoor premises for business by 10 p.m. each day and cannot open again until 5 a.m. the following day. Outdoor dining may continue past 10 p.m., as can takeout or delivery services. This time restriction for indoor dining also includes our casinos. However, their gaming operations may continue around the clock. But after 10 p.m., no food or drink will be available to anyone inside the casino. Again, starting on Thursday, all interstate games and tournaments for indoor youth sports up to and including high school are prohibited for the time being. It simply is not safe for teams to be crossing state lines to participate in indoor competitions where there is a serious risk of spreading the virus. Meanwhile, newly elected state Senator Cory Booker was invited to attend Governor Murphy's press briefing on Monday to discuss what he and his colleagues in Washington are doing to agree on and execute new COVID relief stimulus for America. So far, we have gotten $6.5 billion in federal assistance here to New Jersey. We've done it before. We need to do it now. We need to do more. We can get to work to get this crisis under control, to get the communities the relief they need, the relief that governors on both sides of the aisle across the nation are asking for, relief that county leaders on both sides of the aisle are asking for, that the towns and mayors on both sides of the aisle here in New Jersey are asking for, to get that flexible state and local funding to our communities. By the way, the governor has also banned all at-bar seating in the state of New Jersey, but will allow restaurants to move their tables closer than six feet, which should allow them to uh, increase their capacity. For New Jersey News Network, I'm Phil Andrews.